All right, today is the day. As you just saw, John and I are leaving the hotel. <clears throat> I had a good, good old, good old fashioned good shower in before we got on the water. We're gonna be fishing the river today. His boat took a dump yesterday. Just the engine, just the engine. So we're gonna be trolling motor only and going down the river. Apparently his, his buddy did well on the river yesterday, so that's hopefully the case. Cause I mean, yesterday we did catch a big, big old, big small mouth. I mean, yesterday we did catch a, I caught a four and a half, four, 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 and John caught like a three something. So as long as we can kind of do something like that today, plus add a bunch of little numbers, that would be a fantastic day. Oh, and another thing, I want to thank you guys so much for getting us past the 200,000 mark. It's, it's crazy to think at the beginning of the year that my, my entire yearly goal was 10,000 subscribers. 10,000. Back in January, I had 300 subscribers. And this January, this last January, 300. And just months later, I got we passed over 200,000. It's all because of you guys and the support you guys give me on this venture and this journey of uh, being a YouTuber, which is awesome. Son of a today. Well, today is going to be a bibs day again. It, it is, uh, it started the rain. So, in Michigan. This is styling, that's what I'm talking about. So this may sound crazy to some of you smallmouth guys out there, but we're literally going to be throwing these 6XDs and 5XDs down the center of a river channel, or river, for a smallmouth. He's already, Ben's already hooked up with one, and I'm still trying to tie on, so. There we go. I got my first one. Eh, nothing like yesterday. Oh, that's a good fish. There we go. These smallies, that, that's, that's nothing but a handful of uh, trebles if you reach down there, huh? There we go. First fish for me. Did not think I'd be using a 5XD to catch any smallmouth in the middle of a river system. This is kind of cool. Look at that. This is like some Texas fishing right here. But for smallmouth. Man, this thing is so cold. Dude, this is so cold. Do you want to feel this thing? Like, I was literally just holding fish like two days ago that were like 80 degrees. Like, that is so crazy to me. So beautiful, though. God, these fish are so amazing. There we go. The scenery is nice. It's not raining right now. We got John up there doing the same thing. We're literally all throwing little crankbaits. I think we're like in, what, nine foot of water, he said? Ten foot of water? Nine, ten foot of water is ripping crankbaits down. Let's get back at it. Oh, there you Did you just hit that at the boat? Oh, yeah, it's right at the boat. Woo! There you go. Oh, John's throwing a lipless crank. John never throws the same thing everybody else is. Nope. I thought so hard into my color process selecting for my crankbait that I just selected whatever one I found on the deck of the boat. Put a lot of thought into my fishing, if you guys can't tell. Right now, my, my bait has got a uh, the lure effect of a uh, leaf. This is, this is how you catch the big old smallies up north. Let me tell you what. Oh. Whoo, I saw that. John just smoked that fish. Oh, oh whoa. Oh, I just saw, I just saw. That was, whoo. That was everything about that. The jump, the fact that you almost got a little bit of the dome. I almost that got it. That was so sick. That is smallmouth fishing, dude. Is, well. There we go. Oh the big fish. Orts is down deep. He stopped that thing. Oh, that's, not, that's a not a small mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it oh, is. Side. Oh, do I? He stopped that thing though. Oh, that is a good one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There we go. This small mouth just oh, wow. stopped that crankbait down low. Woo! Oh, wow. How did that size Look at of that. Fish? Look at that. Oh, okay. This is awesome. This thing literally stopped it. At the bottom of the river, it just slammed it. Beautiful fish. Whew. Wow. <sighs> Loving it. We've been out here like 20 minutes. Not even 20 minutes, just smoking them. Oh, I put a lot of thought into this uh, color choice, boys. Kind of just picked whatever crankbait was on the deck of the boat. 10 minutes back there looking for a color, right? Yeah, I just kind of went back there, you know. You painted that, actually. I painted this back here. They got this... to the point where you just like, you didn't like any of the colors. Nope. I brought my spray paint kit out here and we got it. I think you've seen better days. Oh my god. Oh, goodness. John, did you, did you just get smoked? Right up on it and he cranked it. 
Talk about stopping it. Oh my <laughs> yeah. god. Oh, I'm so scared to be around you with these. I've watched John hit himself in the face with a top water and almost drill me. There are so many different types of fish. Did you get smoked? Oh. John just smoked a good one. He's throwing a he's throwing a little bit different. He's throwing a lipless crank and I'm throwing a 5XD. Two totally different deals here. There we go. Yep. Ah, oh, that was a good one. These treble hooks can be uh, sometimes a pain with these small mouth. Any any mouth size fish actually. I don't care what size the fish is. Dang, that was a pretty good one. Well, um, what happened? Um, hit the. I hit the talon. Wait, no, it's right there. I it's... saw a piece of the fly back. No, 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 it's good. It's uh, over there. It's, it's floating. I saw it. Oh, well, oh it bro actually broke, broke. Frank, oh, I broke. Nice, yeah, now you got a little well, scared. You got yourself in top water. <laughs> well, I just accidentally hit his, uh, hit that. I, mean, I hit his talon on accident. It's kind of a, just smashed it with the uh, front of this. Well, that's now one. Turn a 5XD into a top water. That's one way to do it, I guess. I think I need a new bait, guys. Side back on, or do you think? It, oh, there's not even a uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing to tie it onto. Well, we're gonna go with this color for right now. John's been killing it on some red color, and uh, let's see if I can not smash this off the back of his talon. There's a fish. Yeah. Yeah, he's on. Oh. Oh, falling backwards over this this little thing. Oh boy. I don't want to lose this one. I need to. Need to. You ready? You got him. Oh, there we go. Barely, Barely hooked him. There we go. Switched over to a different color, big old crankbait. God, these things are tanks, man. Look at that. There we go, guys. Another one. Switched up the colors since I uh, decided to smack that last one off the back of his Minkota, but it worked out. Worked out really well. He's about to go off. Ooh. Yes. There he is. All right. Let's get back at it after I get this thing untangled. Like I'm throwing a, a giant crankbait literally on the shore, and that's got hooked up again. Yeah, on the shore. Did you guys not see that? Like he hit it on the shore. Look at that. Is it a good one? Yeah. How? Why? That was on the shore. Oh! Oh my God! Look at that tank right there. You might want to get a weight on that fish. Is this this is this? Oh! I think it's bigger. Huge. This is big. Look at that. That was on the shore. Holy Literally God. on the shore. Dude. God. Unreal. <laughs> so, I think right, we should weigh it. Real quick. I think we should weigh this one. Look at the color on this. This thing is the most beautiful fish we've... This is the most beautiful colored fish we've caught all day. Just the coloring on this one's like perfect. Alright, it's the biggest one of the day. We're going to weigh it. See what we got going on here. Three something. Oh, I'm in kgs. Hold on. Oh, oh. kilograms. Okay. Oh, which means it could well, be... Well, we could probably do this on our head. I'm not going to do that. Okay, too, too much work. Low four. Four one. Four, four one. Four <laughs> one. Dang, there we go. Hold it up. A little four get, pounder right there. Good. Four pound smallie on a big old crank. Keep it right. All right, let's release this bad boy. A little four one smallmouth. Oh, it's, it's active. Oh. Ah, good to go. There we go. Oh, that was the next cast after that last one too. Right on the shore. I think I've said that like four times. This kind of reminds me of my uh, Disney video where I said I wasn't paying attention like forty times. But if you guys didn't notice, he was. Right on the shore. Again, a dang fish, but it's not fish. Okay, so beautiful. Let's see here. You guys are catching fish, and I'm throwing in the same areas, but I'm throwing. Nope, not changing it. Now you're John. <laughs> now you're being the John. Not changing it. Oh, you. I'm, that's why I'm not changing it. <laughs> Go 
<laughs> this is full funny. Look how shallow that was again. I'm sitting here just making a joke. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> it's another, another one. Another tank. Dude, look at that. <laughs> this is why I'm not putting this bait down. Always going with these deep dives. Look at that. You are catching the bigger ones too. I'm just not catching a ton. Nice shot of the stems there. Another. God. The bigger ones are so much more brown than the smaller ones. Have you noticed that? Yeah. There is another beautiful fish. All right. I don't have to say much. As you guys already know, shallow, big old crankbaits for smallmouth, which you would never think you would be able to do. Look at that belly. Oh, it's still biting my finger. Here we go. Who, honestly, at home, smallmouth guys, would have thought throwing this size of a bait in two foot of water? That's like two foot, isn't it? These guys are smoking it like right when it hits the water. Even even back home in Texas, we're not throwing this big of a bait in inches of water. That is absurd to me. On the water tank too. But awesome. Well, yeah, the water tank is 49 degrees. That's another thing to put into play here. But it's fun. This is this is really fun. Dude, it's real shallow over there. Just so you guys are aware. Is that a fish? John's got a fish, I think. Oh yeah, you do have a fish. Is it a good fish? Yeah. Oh, that is a good, that's, that's the biggest fish for John of the day, for sure. Haven't been showing any of John's fish, but here's his biggest one. Oh, look at the color on that thing. God, it's so beautiful. Feist issues too. Yeah, I'll grab your camera for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap some photos for John and then uh, get back to fishing. You tell me, tell me if that front trouble hook's okay. Look at it, just look real close. Do you see the one right there? Oh you see that? It it's, yeah, it's flat. So I'm gonna mention something here. I just got smoked by a fish twice in a row. If you guys look real closely on these troubles, that thing is absolutely flat. Like there's no, like that's not puncturing my skin one bit. So I'm gonna switch out, switch out these troubles because I think that could be a pretty big factor in hooking some fish. Oh, I got one. one? Yep. There's a hump out there. Oh, I got one. Finally. Don't put this thing down. Me and John just doubled up. Oh, there we go. We just doubled up right there. Oh, there we go. John and I just doubled up. Can we put this in the box? Not yours. There we go. John and I just doubled up. Little, I'd, I'd like almost identical fish, huh? Yeah, but yeah. There we go. I'm going to get them back in the water. Cool. It's been about an hour since I've even been able to link up with anything, so it's not putting down, not putting it down. To me, this is almost like a challenge video in itself because yeah. of what I'm throwing for smallmouth. All right, the real test with the five is right now. This is the only time I'd ever use it is when it's raining, and and that's uh, let's see how see how if it's pulled its weight, the amount of money we spent on these things. There we go, hooked up with another one. It's another good one. Solid chunk. There we go. Oh wow, this is a good fish right here. Yep. Look, off, look at the shoulders on this thing, dude. The that is a good fish right there. Uh, we probably should have started putting these bigger fish in this box probably uh, earlier. earlier, but eh, whatever. What's up? Your boy Smallmouth JB here. You wanna talk about it? Yeah. You wanna end it? Why, why the only reason why I use it this entire time? Crankbait. That was it. That's big it. one. Thanks for big watching. One. Crankbait. That's all we use today with big crankbaits. We didn't, we didn't change it up. That's all we did. That's it. Go follow the guy that took us out. He's a good guy. Keep your link below. And John. John's always linked because I'm not a good guy. Though. He's not a good guy. Though. I'm a terrible person who throws GoPros. I'll be with John for like the next two weeks. We go from here to Texas to Florida. So other than that, hope you guys enjoyed today's little smallmouth river fishing. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.